On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your Framemeister to get the best possible picture out of the Super Nintendo game console. First, you are going to need an original Super Nintendo. The smaller, redesigned system released in 1997 does not output RGB without modification. Next, you'll need an RGB SCART cable. I recommend using a cable with a separate composite sync line rather than sync on composite. Thankfully, these are cheap and plentiful, and I purchased mine from RetroGamingCables.com. Finally, not all Super Nintendos are created equal. Some later revision Super Nintendos contain the One Chip 03, which offers the sharpest possible picture. However, these systems must be modded to enable composite sync. For this video, I am using a slightly older Super Nintendo that does have some minor color bleeding issues, but works without any modification. Generally speaking, the XRGB Mini does a wonderful job with 240p sources like the Super Nintendo, and out of the box, it will look pretty damn good. However, with just a few tweaks, we can make it look perfect. So here are the settings that I use. One of the XRGB Mini's strong points are its handling of 240p content over SCART, and these settings should give you a near emulation experience on the big screen. Oh, my God. 